Hi, thanks for joining us. We often talk about education here with politicians and union leaders. Well, today, let's add the parents' perspective to the discussion with our guest, Carrie Rodriguez. She's the founder in 2016 of Massachusetts Parents United and now president of the National Parents Union. Also, not so incidentally, a mother of three. Carrie, welcome. To nice WBC. to be here with you great, in person. Great to see you as well. Thanks for coming in. So under the so-called ARP ESSER fund, pardon the alphabet soup, but it's a federal, uh, federal authorization, the feds sent nearly $122 billion in money for states to help clean up the educational disaster of the pandemic. Here in Massachusetts, we got 1.8 billion dollars. Okay, that's a lot of money. What do you make of what we've done with it? Not much, John. You know, we've got a lot of work to do and frankly when you ask parents and families whether they're feeling the tangible impact of ARP and ESSER money, I mean this is the equivalent of, of hitting megabucks, right, in yeah. the educational sense. Um, so I don't know about you, if I hit the megabucks, like my living room would look different. It would feel different. I'd, you know, maybe buy some new furniture. So we ask parents all the time, you know, 1.8 billion dollars we should feel a difference in classrooms across Massachusetts are you seeing this and frankly parents aren't seeing a difference which is shocking to us but not surprising why where's the money going well that's the question that we have uh, we are actively calling for transparency accountability asking some deep questions around why we're not seeing this money reflected in the parent priorities that are pretty clear we have done polling 30 national polls, multiple polls across the Commonwealth asking parents, what do you want this money actually spent on? And honestly, when these plans were created for this money so that we could actually get this funding drawn down, we were supposed to have direct input on how this money was spent. And that didn't happen. That didn't go so well, as it typically doesn't. But what parents wanted to see this money spent on is making sure our schools were safer and healthier. Uh, making sure that we had adequate mental health support for our kids because they have gone through an unprecedented crisis um, and really making sure that we're focusing on addressing critical conditions around learning loss things like having a right to read and reading proficiency numeracy math proficiency you know none of this stuff really came to fruition well just to localize this a little bit just last week brockton announced the elimination of 130 staff jobs claiming an 18 million dollar budget deficit despite getting more than 50 million of that federal money they've been hemorrhaging enrollment what is going on in schools like brockton well this is wild i just i just think it's absolutely Absolutely wild because again Brockton was allocated 53 million they've drawn down 50 million in addition we just passed the Student Opportunity Act which gives them even more money they were supposed to create a three-year plan to overcome the achievement gap as a part of getting that additional funding drawn down to the district so you've had this influx of money unprecedented amounts of money and, and we're not even at the fiscal cliff yet and that's coming in 2024 where all this ESSER and ARP money this additional funding is going to go away up, yeah. so how can you tell us that you don't have enough money you've got to lay off 130 teachers if I was a parent in Brockton if I was a taxpayer in Brockton if I was the mayor of Brockton I would be asking some very serious questions around fiscal mismanagement what's going on there in addition to the fact that the 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 number of kids that are leaving Brockton Public Schools, they've lost about 1,300 of them. This, this dates back to pre-pandemic. So they've been bleeding kids because parents are voting with their feet. They're leaving the district because their kids aren't safe. They feel like their kids are being underserved. And, you know, it's, it's excuse after excuse, but wow. $50 million. Where is that money?